I've hit go live too quick. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at I'm okay. looking at the YouTube video so, at the moment. Yeah, this happened. is this has been a complete utter um yeah, disaster already to start. Anyway, um, <laughs> hello and uh, welcome to session one of this Forbidden Lands uh, campaign over on over on here on Three Skulls Tavern. Um, I am Matt, the GM. If I was into cosplay or LARP, I would be telling you that I'm Brewmaster, some made up name, but I'm not. This is uh, this is not um, the type of um, actual play where we're going to be getting into roles and. Um, yeah, doing a lot of acting and stuff. As we said in session zero and the prologue, um, this is all about um, kind of showing people how the game works as well as going through and running the campaign. So especially in these early sessions, there's gonna be, um, hopefully we're gonna be slowing things down a little bit, going over um, how everything works with uh, the mechanics and things. Um, and that way, yeah, things are, things are kind of at a pace that people are actually learning about the game and not just watching a performance. So anyway, that's me. Um, my, I'm joined by, which way do I do my hand? The wrong way to how it looks. <laughs> These people over here. So um, if we start at the top of the overlay, um, just quick introduction and where people can find you, like Twitter, Facebook, whatever. If you want to give a shout out. I, you're now, you're now at the top. top. You, wanted to be, uh, you wanted to be on the top last time. So I, I've done alphabetical order by player names this time, just to mix it up. Yeah, that works, I think. <laughs> No, Kate. No. <laughs> anyway. Uh, hello. <laughs> um, I am Charlotte. I am going to be playing the half elf sorceress Lyria for this campaign. Uh, you can find me on the Twitters and everywhere else around the internet, Twitch at uh, Foxfire22. Um, and you can find me posting all kinds of tabletop role playing stuff like um, my new learn to play stream, which we had our first episode of yesterday, in which Eric uh, down below was part of. Uh, so that was awesome. Yeah, yeah, it was good times. Um, cool. I'm looking forward to this. I bought the books a while back to try and run it, and I get to be a player. So, yeah. Cool. And I apologize for anything that my character does. That is not me. That does not reflect my own opinions. <laughs> I think the same goes for everyone. We um, know what you mean, Charlotte. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know what you mean, too. I've played with you um, often enough. <laughs> um, also, just for people watching, all the links to Twitter um, and various things for all for everyone taking part right now are in the description. So you can just click there and, and follow if you want to follow people, etc. Thanks, Charlotte. Ed. Hi, I'm Ed. Uh, you can find me at the only place that I seem to be on Twitter, at Transvala74. Um, yes, uh, I'm... Uh, I don't know really what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't really have much of a, uh, uh, a media presence, um, unlike the others. Um, but uh, please, um, by all means, um, you can get me at Twitter, or um, if you are on Discord, um, you can get hold of me there. Who are you playing at? Um, oh, good point, Eric. <laughs> um, I'll be playing uh, Key, um, a uh, hunter ranger type. I want to think about Ed. If you want to see him uh, in action as a GM, uh, check out Cult Divinity Lost AP yeah. podcast from Mud and Blood. See, he was really good. I should, <laughs> I should be all over that. Uh, yeah, if you, again, if you check the description, there is a link to the Mud and Blood podcast, which is a podcast I run. Um, audio only and it's been going for a year and a half and ed is has started well anyway yes, we're doing a cult um, campaign which which started we've taken a break and we're going to be finished we're going to be picking it up again in a couple of months um so anyway and ed is gming that and yeah, charlotte's um, in it charlotte's in it as well as a player uh, and it's on my and harry uh, as is harry as is harry yeah sorry yeah <laughs> yes and it's like and in general it's a great podcast full of really nice people and i look forward to it every week yeah. Um, yes. So, well, thank you very much for everybody else for kind of doing my introductions. So, that's <laughs> <some fun. laughs> uh, nothing like getting everyone else to do their work. That's, that's right. That's that, that's how a GM should be. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Thanks, Ed. Eric, over to you. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm Eric. I'm going to be playing Arlek, which is this party's newly found headler, and. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, as was already mentioned, you can find me on Charlotte's um, uh, Twitch channel, the Foxfire Twenty Two, right? 
Mm -hmm. um, and and so we're doing we were doing a game yesterday. We're doing a game next week. Um, that's doing uh, Wolf Rip, and I'm also pretty active in the Mud and Blood community. So I'm there as Ibram, as I am most places. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Eric. And last but certainly not least, Harry. <laughs> Thank you for saying not least. Um, <laughs> I'm Harry. I am uh, I'm an artist and illustrator from Scotland. You can find my illustrations on uh, Instagram mostly at pencil underscore sword underscore paints and uh, my fine art stuff at bodice underscore art on Instagram as well. I'm playing the goblin fighter Kark and uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do a lot of a voice for Kark all the time, but I'll probably do it sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I I enjoyed it in uh, the prologue. So, yeah, yeah. Like, that's fine. I mean, I with a campaign, I, I, I kind of expect people to slowly get into accents and things. Um, I'm I'm not a stickler for it. I don't really care too much. I'm gonna what? try not to do too many accents. I can only do two accents, um, <laughs> and it doesn't really work for a big cast of characters. So I'll probably uh, steer away a little bit. Um, Cool. So just a little, a few things, a few points of housekeeping. Um, we're planning on going about two hours with this session today. So um, people watching, Oops. obviously, if you're if you're not watching this live, you're going to see how long the, the video is before you even click play. So that's meaningless. But for people watching live, uh, we're planning on going for two hours. Uh, we're not planning on taking a break, but if people need to get up and take comfort breaks, they can just get up and do that um, and come back. Um, I'm not going to go over all the stuff we talked about in session zero. Um, we've already discussed things like the social contract, X cards, that sort of stuff. I'm not expecting to have any shocking content. Um, there will be swearing and possibly a lot of swearing. Um, so that's a content warning if um, if you don't like swearing. Um, and there will probably be violence and gore and some elements of horror as well because this is a dark fantasy setting. So that's the little content warning sort of thing out of the way. Um, and that's sort of it. Yeah, so I think we're ready yeah, to go. That's it. Yeah, cool. all right. Cool. Good job, Matt. Well done. <laughs> How much time did I waste? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's the other thing. Um, I spent most of my prep time getting the overlay and the stuff that you're looking at right now kind of ready. And um, I do have I do have plenty. I did spend enough time working on the, the plot and stuff. But um, I put an inordinate amount of time trying to get this thing looking nice. So... Um, yeah, I'm going to be winging it a little bit, which is why I'm kind of bricking it a little bit here and uh, hoping that the uh, the players <laughs> yeah, you know, that's our job. do a lot of role play. Well, uh, we'll try. So <laughs> let's yeah. let's jump in. Uh, previously <clears throat> on Three Skulls Tavern. Um, so if anybody hasn't watched the prologue, the prologue is um, like a one-hour intro to the party that we did last time. And um, basically... All that happened really was the party met up with Arlek, um, Eric's character, and um, he was kind of on his own in the scene of um, a, a destroyed caravan. Um, there was one dead person nearby, Oleg, um, and the party came upon him while he was sitting there um, at a campfire, kind of trying to decide what to do. They chatted to him a little bit, um, decided to join forces, and um, basically go after the people who had attacked his caravan and that's basically where we left it and uh, i think you you buried oleg um and i think what what was the eulogy you gave him was like um sorry it had the word bastard yeah i was gonna say it had the word bastard in it anyway <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyway um yeah you weren't too fond of him um anyway he got buried you slept for the night in this kind of makeshift camp and that's where we left it so i can yeah do you remember if he called him a stinky bastard or not? I don't think I accused him of being smelly. No. no. Um, yeah. So like, we were we were getting camp ready, um, and uh, and I don't think we had gone to sleep yet. Like I've been digging. Um, it's fine. I'm gonna. Idea. For, I mean, you can tell me the idea. The I, but for my for my own um, purposes here, I wanted to kind of skip ahead here to okay. the the following Let's morning. But go ahead and tell me what your idea was. I'm kind of curious. Oh, my idea is I stayed up all night. Uh, crafting a staff. I'm cool with that. You can take the sleepy condition and yep. you can, um, yeah. And you can roll a craft, I guess, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll roll a craft. So, rolling done. first roll of the proper session. Um, yes, indeed. Proper campaign. 
crafting roll. Interesting. So um, we've got this just below me here. There's this um, this dice roller which we're using, and he's rolled his crafting roll. He's got an um, a strength attribute of four and a crafting skill of one, which is um, four attribute dice, one skill dice. Yes. It didn't succeed. You can. Um, I feel like maybe I cut myself <laughs> with a knife while I'm working on this. <laughs> Are you going to push it? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's do this. Oh, okay. oh no. Oh, no. That's a good oh. way to start. Good way to start. You're All tired. Right. You're, you're sleepy. So the sleepy I'm, condition I'm tired and I'm, I'm a little, is another a little thing down. to keep yeah. track of there. Um, yeah, yeah. So I think I was, I was working on this stuff, and I was like uh, trying to get it done, and it's dark. And I, yeah, I took okay. some skin off my hand there. <laughs> you're starting That's the how game you're going to find me in the morning. Just, you do have to cut away from yourself. Yeah. Ah, uh, I uh, see. He didn't. He didn't do any um, scouts. Yeah. No. Obviously. No. <laughs> okay, I've got a question. Yeah. Was he dripping blood? Oh, you're blood sorceress, aren't you? Oh, don't spoil it. I have I mean, another there, there blood, is blood question. around to be found. <laughs> there will be blood around. Yeah. All over this. All over, all over this knobbly stick. We haven't we haven't even got to the point where I wanted to start the campaign and we're already yeah. getting up to some crazy stuff. All right. Go on, go on, okay. Charlotte. Oh, I mean, if I knew that that went on and there was a chance to collect a little bit of blood, I would have taken one of the vials that I would have had in my pack and uh, gathered some of it up for no reason whatsoever. Would, would we know what you're doing this? No. I feel, well, I feel like I'd have you, a problem. You, I mean, you, yeah, you would see, like, I would come by and take your hand and try and get a little bit into a vial. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very sneaky. All right, hold on. Actually, hold, hold on. on. Hold on. And like, hold on. Let's pass. Let's st take a step back. He's also keeping watch so everyone else can sleep while he's mm -hmm. crafting. So, oh, okay. I would then... say you're probably sleeping so that you don't have the sleepy condition while this is happening. And this is taking crafting yeah. rolls take an entire quarter day to to happen as well. Um, so the idea is that he's this this skill thing is taking like a full sort of um, I don't know six Sounds hours like most of the night. Hours. Most of the yeah. night. Yeah. So I would say you probably haven't seen it. Unless you were awake, but I don't think in this case you're awake. Okay, so nah. we're going to jump to the next morning. Um, right. The tracks you saw um, from the so the Saurians, I didn't mention this earlier when I was doing the recap. Uh, the, the Saurians are a, um, a race of basically like lizard people. They look a bit like crocodiles um, with humanoid bodies. Um, they are okay. the ones who attacked and uh, took away most of the... Um, the caravan crew and they weren't especially here it was fairly obvious to see which which direction they'd been heading um also um i th i guess arlek had seen kind of the direction they had headed as well after he came out of hiding so yeah. they're heading north they're heading due north so on the map if you look at the map there um it's got hexes um this is a hex crawl game and yeah that's the direction they're heading so the way journeying works um We'll get to that. I mean, you don't have to go north. You can go any direction you want, right? This is a sandbox. So what do you want to do? <laughs> you better go north. <laughs> <laughs> south, everyone. Go south. Well, you know, we passed that lake a few days back to the south that uh, would make a decent place to uh, camp out at. Um, it's going to turn into a I'm, Minecraft game, is it? <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm quite keen to find out where these uh, lizard folk have gone to. So, Yeah, I don't know. I didn't hack up my hand just so we could uh, hang around here. Let's go try and find them. They might have some stuff still. Also, Alex said that people were actually taken, weren't they? So <clears throat> they weren't just murdered and killed. They were actually Yeah, most taken of them weren't even slaves. here. Just poor Oleg. Yeah, Oleg, Oleg was killed. The rest of the caravan mm -hmm. crew had been taken alive. Okay. Okay. Oh, Sounds great. So you want to go on another one of your humanitarian efforts? Always. Why would you I want was to under the impression that we were offered some money. Ah, uh, they some like you know caravan they were, money. They were taken. They, you found the, what do you find on old Oleg? Jim? What do you think the others have on him? Yeah. Uh, let's see. You know, if we help them, they'll. I'm sure they'll reward us somehow. Oh, they're dead already, and <laughs> take over their corpses, right? That's the plan. If Tark wants to do that, then, you know, I have no problem <laughs> with that. Okay, so traveling. Um, journeying rules basically um, require one person to be designated the <coughs> the leader, the pathfinder kind of, of the, of the crew. Mm. So mm. <laughs> there's usually one person who um, jumps out and screams, this should be that person. 
And mm-hmm. I think in this case, it's going to be um, Kai. It is, yeah. Somebody with um, wits and scouting that are doing quite well, I imagine. Yeah. Uh, would be helpful, I guess. <laughs> They're kind of um, finding the best path through um, wherever you're hiking through. Yeah. Um, however, you're also trying to follow tracks. So like that. Oh. <laughs> and yeah the map kind of um anyway very dangerous i'm using a virtual tabletop called gto give it a quick shout out um anyway which is kind of a 3d map there um so you've headed north one one slot there and the next thing that i would do is i would roll um a d66 roll um to determine whether you have any encounters (laughs) um just to kind of uh oh no my my um i'm actually better at um spotting things so keeping watch than i am actually leading the way for some unknown right. reason <laughs> um yeah if i if i feel that it's not really kind of dangerous i would probably keep an eye out as opposed to lead the way okay um, does anybody have any training uh, in survival yep Fuck. yep kark so maybe you should maybe you should lead the way yeah oh look because everyone has to trust me now Let's see, you've got a oh, you've got a survival of two. Okay, so that's yeah. That's not bad. So I got wits three, survival two. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I see you've got oh that's handy. You got out my my character sheet for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, yeah, so wits three, survival two. Obviously, gear dice won't come into this one. Um, so let me just do a quick type. I always heard goblins made good trackers. I always heard your mother was easy. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't know you knew my mother. Everyone right. knows your mother. <laughs> All right, so give us a um, give us a survival roll, please. I was trying. It took me a while to type. Uh, okay, so that looks like a thoroughly unhelpful response. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Miss Hap. Mishap. Yeah, we're doing a mishap. I'm looking up the table yes. here. So um, go ahead and give me a D66 roll as well. So if you do um, the RF and then just D66. Sure thing. Uh, if there's no skulls. You have to, he's failed the roll. You need to succeed to, to enter the new hex, basically. And that would have been done with like one success and that well, would have been You need it? one success. So he's <laughs> he's failed the roll by not getting any successes. If, he, if there were skulls on there, they would only matter if he'd pushed the roll. And then the skulls would have damaged him, like damaged one of his attributes. That's the only time skulls come into play. Gotcha. So it's a success or a failure. Um, and in this particular instance, for this type of role, a failure means uh, mishap. So a 34 is um, torn clothes. Can be mended by making a successful crafting roll. Uh, we'll remember that for... That yeah, we'll remember that for um, later, like when you're making camp. I think oh, at night yeah. maybe we'll have the cold... Does anybody in. want to type that down in the note section on the whiteboard? Well, that's going to be me, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> just so we remember. Should we just randomly apply that to one person? Maybe the person who's leading the way, but not everyone else? I don't know. I'm just wondering why it's not coming up on the stream. There we go. Cock, why did you lead us through these brambles? <laughs> um, so I can get through. <laughs> Oops. All right. So we've got here. Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, right. Back to the map. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's happened. You're you're in the the hex. I rolled. Nothing's happened. So. <laughs> Thank um, you, Carl okay. Frederick. Oh, in fact, I shouldn't be saying that, should I? You need to do a. Do you need to do a keep, keep watch? watch. I can do that. I do apologize. Jumping ahead a little Guess bit. Nothing happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you want to make the scout roll if there's going to be an encounter. <laughs> I think it should be well, we made a scout roll, so I guess. Yeah, it's if if the random encounter is some sort of threat, the lookout makes a scouting roll. Yeah, correct. I'm good. Okay, so. Um, you spend I said. you spend I know, a kind of a few hours walking, kind of walking to the north. Um, I wish that's, we could use physical dice. That's your role, though, because I was going to ask you now to make a scouting roll to see if you could follow the tracks. 
um, because they're they're kind of getting fainter now as they've gotten further away. Think you've been you've been kind of hiking for three hours, um, so that's fine. You've you've got two successes on that roll. Um, mm. So make sure those are the right dice there. No, no, I did the wrong skill. Uh, no, it's fine. But it's it's you got sixes on the skill dice, which is absolutely yeah. fine. Um, for anybody watching, those are mutant year zero dice. Use the same <laughs> system. Don't worry about Oops. it. Um, anyway, you, uh, you see them there, key. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay and what you see is that they're headed off to the uh kind of northeast off to the kind of left from where you are I will, now uh, i will continue to uh to follow them okay so you continue to follow and um i'm going to need another role for um a survival role from kark lead the Ooh, lead the way good and exciting yeah, hang on. I'm just going to copy paste because I am. Using... <clears throat> okay. Ooh, so no, no better. mishaps. You've moved in. Um, and now I go. am going to require. I've, in fact, I, I said before, I think that I've rolled for all the random encounters um, pr uh, beforehand. Um, so, Ed, I'm going to need a, a scouting roll. Yay! How about that? <laughs> Pretty good. Oh, I like it. Three successes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you you see, the reason why I was around. <laughs> yeah, good work. Um, you see, as you kind of um, as you come over, that um, there's somebody. You see a figure standing in the tree line. Um, mm -hmm. A figure that is quite dark. Um, you're not sure exactly why, but um, yeah, there's. Um, either wearing very dark clothes or something like that. And they're, they're kind of at a distance, just inside the tree line, standing, standing quite still. Would they be able to have seen us from where they are? Um, quite possibly. You're not really trying to move stealthily. You're kind of out in the open on, the, on some planes, following some tracks. Um, you're kind of near the tree line. You're not too far from the tree line on your left. But yeah. Okay. Well, I'll, uh, I'll motion everyone to get down into the grass. Um, and I'll uh, knock an arrow. Got a donkey and a goat um, as well. <laughs> well, like goats are we. Greta, get down. Get down. <laughs> How big of a goat do you think that nanny goat is? Uh, big enough for you to ride on, so fairly big. That is a stoker. Yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nanny goat, lie down. I'll... <laughs> I completely forget that they've got <laughs> be of burden <laughs> so I'll just kind of shake my head um, you can train a goat like a dog I'm sure she can lie down I'll, Greta I'll, is I'll, very well behaved yeah I'll, I'll kind of point in the direction that I saw the dark figure and say there's someone over there waiting and watching mm -hmm. yeah, yeah what does it look like dark figure <laughs> human size Well, uh... that's about as much as I could see we uh, go around to the trees, or how do you want to handle this? I look over at the goblin. Well, Is there any saying? reason that they would be hostile other than being human? Well, probably not. I mean, um, it could be. I, I couldn't really tell they look humanoid, so I, I unless they're a. Uh, um, they've left a scout behind. <laughs> hey, and I look around over at uh, Lyria. I'm like, Witch, you have any uh, <laughs> any sort of special sight or something? <laughs> you... One of those spells? Something? You wouldn't know that I'm a sorceress at this point, would he? I mean, I we think, just I think introduced me as a sorceress. <laughs> Maybe not. If not, then I retcon. <laughs> and you retcon calling her a witch. Yes. Hey, elf. <laughs> hey, hey, knife here. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No. Uh, I don't think I'm anything special along those lines. Yeah, I don't think I've got anything that would help in this situation. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, 
we could just say hi. You know. Look, we outnumber the thing four to yeah. one. Yeah. I don't think that we have any reason to be deeply concerned. Yeah, you guys. It's not, it's not a giant. Yeah, maybe you guys just like hang back for a second. I'll go. I'll go say hi. And uh, you know, me and Key here, we can fill the fucker full of lead. Yeah, yeah. You, you just keep the uh... lead arrows. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, whoa! whoa. <clears throat> keep, keep those. You're not going there. We just met you. We don't even trust you yet. Well, I it's trust bad, them. Yeah, so, I don't trust anybody. so something one of those faces. I like him. Something happens um, while you're sitting here, trying to uh, kind of lying in the grass, trying to decide what to do. Um, you see the figure start moving, um, and it looks from the kind of the distance that you're at that it's taking very heavy, ponderous footsteps, and it's crossing kind of directly in front of you, perpendicular to the kind of the direction you're heading. So mm -hmm. from it's kind of in your to your left in the tree line, and it's heading off towards your right. Like cutting, oh, fuck, cutting Bigfoot. across your trail, um, but not coming towards you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very, very slow, ponderous footsteps. I mean, how big is it? Um, it's kind of hard to tell at this distance, but you would imagine human, or, like human, sort of size. Maybe. A... I'm, not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'll stand up. <laughs> yeah. I'll right. Just go say come, hi. Come on, Grid. God. Come on. Come on then. <laughs> Would um, my uh, but, lore be able to provide any insight as to what that would be? Like, it doesn't move like a normal humanoid, like a p person. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> this is where the game kind of gets into slightly shaky territory, where I would sometimes kind of lean towards letting <laughs> lore be rolled for this. Um, lore is meant to be used to, to learn about legends. I think in this case, we can probably let it slide, because um, obviously I know, I know the nature of what this is. So um, I mean, if you don't feel that it's something that we would normally be able to divine from lore itself and we'll we'll let it slip like well i think I, I, there's ignore, i said anything. yeah i think that if if one of you had the right kind of background situation i think a lore but that's kind of a stretch i think yeah it's forbidden lands bigfoot i think we're just <laughs> i think we're just gonna go say hi all of you together that's where we are now yeah all right uh, i or i mean i could lead the way with this <clears throat> Okay. Yeah. By all means. So, as you right. slowly start approaching, um, the first thing you first thing you notice is the sound. There's this kind of um, this racket, this uh, clattering, squeaking noise coming from the direction of this of this creature. Um, and <laughs> as you kind of move a little bit closer, um, you still haven't moved very far from where you're lying in the grass. Um, okay it clearly spots you because it turns to face you and it just stops watching you. It doesn't do anything, it just watches you. I guess we'll walk a bit closer, I guess. It's hey. still quite far, like I'd say probably, I don't know, 300 meters away, something like that. Oh, okay. wow, okay. So close enough that you can see that there's a figure there, but you can't really make out a lot of details just yet. And again, the only impression you're getting is this really kind of, um, <clears throat> somebody wearing really dark dark clothing kind of head to foot you don't see like a little light patch for you know light colored skin where the face might be or anything like mm -hmm. that just kind of solid a solid dark humanoid shape hmm. well if it's not doing anything to us then we're not going to do anything to it and i guess we just continue following this trail yeah we Unless... can go around it's kind of um uh, moved into your sound. into your path a little bit so do you want to no. just kind of walk past it, or do you want to swerve around it? It looks like it wants to say hello. <laughs> oh, then by all means, you can go say hello. I'll stay back here. To get bogged down in a fight, because, frankly, I'm hungry, and it's going to be lunchtime soon. Fair point, so... Like, yeah, you will so need to eat and drink right. every day, at least once a day, so which you haven't done yet. At least once a day. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> at least, yeah. <laughs> And, uh, you know, if he wants a confrontation, then he's going to have to get right in front of us. But until yeah. then, I think we should just leave him alone. I don't All care right. what he's... What, who, what, I don't care what it is. I don't care what he's doing. Let's go around. Sure. Give him some space. Okay. Yeah. Let's not force anything. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So you, um, you go around, and um, it kind of just kind of rotates its body as you're as you're kind of 
moving around it, kind of keeping watch on you. Um, nice. But doesn't take any doesn't take any kind of steps towards you. Doesn't seem to be taking any kind of aggressive action. Um, and as you get a little bit closer to it, um, the second thing that you notice, um, obviously it stops. You don't hear that that kind of that din, that racket anymore. Um, is you you get this smell of of burning meat that kind of hits you, um, and yeah, I guess it's not really a pleasant like it's not the smell of a of a barbecue on a on a sunny mm. day it's like the smell of of burning meat not grilled mm. meat you know yeah. it's 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 definitely on the charred yeah. side of of well done um <laughs> and as you're getting closer what you what, you what you notice is that um the creature is actually looks like some sort of a knight dressed in head to toe in in black armor and okay. a fucking Nazgul. the closer <laughs> the closer you get, as you get even closer, um, you mm -hmm. notice that the armor is actually looks a bit tarnished, a bit a bit old. There you can see rust spots on it, um, mm -hmm. and you notice that there's also some kind of a symbol that's been hammered into the chest plate. Uh, but at this distance, you can't really make it out particularly well. Matt, that is very cool. I don't know what it is. I am intrigued, and I wish we could, you know, go and investigate it. <laughs> well. But, uh, what but also, are you? Yeah. It doesn't say word. You're now, you're now probably less than, uh, like, within 100 meters of it. Um, so clearly well enough to make these details out. Not a lot of fine detail, and you're kind of swerving around. Um, you're not going to get much closer unless you decide to get closer. It's <laughs> extremely normal for people in full plate armor to wander around the countryside with, you know, nothing to carry. Absolutely any not normal at all. In late it's, spring, early uh, not even in this fantasy yeah. setting. It's, yeah. it's a super normal thing to happen, and we don't have to think about it any further. Well, I, I keep an eye on Cock in case he decides to go for a wander. Um, but I'm happy to kind of. Yeah, can I make a, a space? lore roll to see if I know any legends about this thing? Because this is clearly bizarre. Um, sure. I mean, I said the Elderlanders could make a lore roll. You're one of the two Elderlanders, yeah. so. Uh, or a key, you can do it if you like. I think you're probably in a position more likely to have known something <laughs> about it, so... Well. Oh, no. I'll take it. Okay. One success. I mean, one success is going to be enough. Um, you've heard rumors um, in during your travels, um, as your your background is that you're a, you're a merchant who has traveled mm -hmm. around um, like, a, like a peddler going from town to town, bringing goods to, to the various villages dotted around the Forbidden Lands. And um, one of the rumors you'd heard about was the rumor of um, a walking armor that wanders the, the Ravenlands. And mm -hmm. that's, people say it's, it's a dark creature in, in dark armor, like basically what you're looking at now. And the rumors, you've, you've, heard of it, you've heard it like maybe once or twice. And both times you heard about it, the story about, about it has was very much changed one was that it's it's just an empty suit of armor um and the second one was that it's the um you know an undead or not undead sorry um, a, um an immortal hero that is looking for something nobody knows what because it's mm. he's been wandering the 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 ravenlands for uh centuries um so you have no idea which of those is which is correct but you're fairly convinced that you what you're looking at is this this walking armor um that people talk about uh, yeah, yeah, I heard about this one. I think uh, you don't know about how aggressive it is or anything like that, but you've certainly not heard of it attacking villages or anything like that. So, yeah. and it's I guess from its um, behavior. Yeah, we best let this one go by. He's got somewhere else to be. It's neutral, dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll just leave it alone. Yeah, it, it's not bothering us. We shouldn't bother it. Lead the way, cock. <laughs> <laughs> so a uh, point of um of mechanics again <laughs> i'm going to bring up the um the miro whiteboard um we have this we have this um handy uh kind of journey tracker which uh somebody has posted kindly on reddit and in it we have this uh, the four quarters of the day uh, according to this game um we've moved to uh two segments um two hexes so we also advance the the time of day to daytime so it's now middle of the day um kind of i don't know i haven't really th anyway it's kind of like uh late late morning coming up to like mm -hmm. noon sort of, sort of thing like 10 11 a.m that sort of thing 
So would you say it's in the first half of the second segment? First half of the second segment. Yes. Currently. Excellent. And you can move two hexes if it's open terrain, which currently out, out on the plains it is. You can move two hexes in one quarter day. Um, if you enter difficult terrain, for example, if you enter into the forest that's that you're quite nearby, um, that becomes difficult terrain, and that you can only move then one hex through that. Um, yeah. Okay. So you kind of you kind of go around go around this creature, and I'm going to require another scouting roll to um, to from um, from Kai just to, to continue to follow the tracks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Holy moly. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> hey. that's gracious. Yeah. That's a very good role. Ed travel so. <laughs> agency is open for business. <laughs> I think there are 17 of them and three of them have got a limp. I think the way we'll handle this with such a good role is that the, the trail, um, it looks like where the trail is relatively easy to follow. Um, it looks like either the pace has been picked up or efforts have been made to uh, make the trail harder to follow. Um, okay as it dips into oh. the um, into the forest. Mm-hmm. So southeast of the current hex that you're in right now. So right, okay. People watching almost directly due left. Okay. So they're actually actively going into the forest. I mean, you don't have to. Well, that, but that's where that's the trail's silly. leading. <laughs> and again, this that's is fine. entering difficult terrain. So making your way through, and again, the way this forest looks, um, as as we can see, kind of from the from the map there, um, the the forest is is actually big. It's it's a massive forest. It's not like a little patch of wood or anything like that. It's really big, and um, those of you who have traveled around this area know that this is a, a massive forest. And um, out out here, kind of where it is touching, where it comes to the plain, the trees kind of thin out until it makes the the natural barrier of the forest but it gets it gets very thick it gets very dark very very quickly um and yeah you know that you know that travel is going to be very much slowed down if you um if you enter the forest but okay. that's where the, that's where the trail is heading well we'll just keep going yeah yeah that sounds like a good plan okay to me. I'm so happy to continue well, I mean, actually, it's up to um, it's up to Kark, who's the, uh, Ooh, the kind of the pathfinder, fuck. the leader of your journey at the moment. So, you gonna head into the forest, Kark? Do we really want to go in there? Is there uh, any reason to do it? Do you have anything else better to do? Well, I've had some pretty ill luck in going, forest. We want to find the tracks, and it <laughs> seems obvious. To people what? watching, I'm I'm just it's, I'm just reminded that Charlotte has played um, in an encounter role play uh, Simbroom campaign. Simbroom is a game that features a massive forest full of dangers, <laughs> and she didn't fare very well in it. I've also run a game of Simbroom um, recently, and I had a I had a, a party of four players, and three of them died in one session. So it's uh yeah, this isn't Simbroom, but it's still potentially a a, a large, dark, and potentially dangerous forest. Dark anyway. things dwell in the forest where the sun doesn't reach. I'm we happy just in saw, the forest. We just yeah. saw one hell of a dark thing, and it wasn't in any woods. Well, it came out of the woods. Remember when you when you first saw it, it was standing on the edge. I'm not arguing with you, Matt. <laughs> 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 All right, so the tracks they lead into the forest, but we don't very much want to go into the forest. Is that about right? Mm, yeah. They go directly, like, like into the forest, not, like, skirting the edge. They're not, like, yeah, they're, they're kind of heading. If this is the, the line of the forest, it's kind of going straight is into Is there it. any, knowing what we know about the lizard folk, if much, hmm. is there anywhere they would likely congregate that they would want to take a shortcut through the forest? So you're Who not very far area, from. If well. you look to the north, there's a place called the Gargan Marshes um, on Lake Vard, Var, uh, Lake Varda, and that is a domain of the of the Saurians. 
and it seems... it's open to trade. They they have very strict rules about what's allowed and what isn't with um with strangers who come in. And basically, they have trading outposts. So Arlek will know all of this. Um, they have trading outposts outposts on the edge of the marshes where they will trade for goods. They don't they're not interested in money, um, and they will provide their own their own trade goods which they've they've taken from the marshes. Um, it's very unusual to hear of saurians that have like are doing this that are kind of raiding and attacking people because that's not normal behavior but you have you have ban bandits and outlaws in every in every race and culture so um sure that's kind of i guess what you would in character kind of be thinking is that the, especially the fact that at the moment they could be heading directly north to go back to the marshes which wouldn't be very far away they're heading yeah. kind of in the opposite yeah. direction so well, so I give you that for free. You don't need to roll for that. Uh, yeah. And we openly know that there's the trading posts up north, right? Um, Arlek will know that. I'm not sure how many else, if, like how many more of you would have actually had reason to trade with Saurians. Um, they're kind of, they don't, again, you don't get money for the trade. You get trade goods. So it's really only a place that merchants would, would travel. So this, that's something really only Arlek would know. Most of you have okay, heard so about the Saurians. You'll, you'll, it could range from being, um, campfire tales to you know scary stories that you know um grandmothers would tell to to keep you scared and not to wander too hard, far from home that sort of thing um I mean, they look as i said they basically look like crocodile people um so what's a oh. grandmother <laughs> <laughs> there be lizard folk yeah anyway all right um Speaking aloud, just thinking to myself, you know, it's been a few days since we've seen any kind of civilization. I wonder if there's anywhere around here, any kind of settlements that might have any insight as to what's going on. Uh, how are we doing for food on. and, you know, assorted supplies and the like? Yeah. I, I mean, know, you all right? have you all have if, rations and water with you. You will need to eat and drink daily if, if you don't want to get gonna conditions. If we're going to go on a traipse through the forest, I think we want to make sure that we've got you know, stuff. Forest I can provide good forage. Yeah, you can f definitely forage in a forest. I think you even might get um, bonuses in a f in a forest for your forage rolls. Definitely. Yeah, it's easier. It's easier. I to can forage, forage in a forest, but you know, two out of, four, two out of no, three of you are you not don't much get use. Bonuses. <laughs> Hold uh. on. Oh, you might actually. <laughs> I'll look it up anyway. But uh, yeah. Yeah, you get a plus one to forage for being in a forest. Um, it's springtime, which means there's a minus one to forage, so it kind of balances mm -hmm. itself out. Yep. Well, uh, I'm, I know I'm happy to go in. The food. Yeah, I, I'm happy to go in, and I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see what happened, and surely we want to kind of see if we can at least rescue your uh, fellow traders. Well, let's yeah, let's see that gemstone again that uh, Cock pulled out of old Oleg's pants. That's oh, more yeah. where that came from. I'll definitely just get that out and show you my gemstone. That's the motivation. <laughs> uh, okay. So I think we should just go directly through the forest then if we're all basically good. Because uh, if we go around, we A, don't know where we're going, and B, it'll take a while. And those folks who we're hoping to get a hold of may not last a while. And we have the so, tracks. Obvious thing to do: go through the go follow the tracks through the forest. Um, so let's do it. While you're making this decision, just as you're kind of make, coming to the decision to head into the forest, you hear the racket start up again. The banging and the you definitely now know what the sound is. It's the sound of um, plates of rusty armor, kind of you know, uh, moving against each other. And as you turn around to look, you notice that the um, the walking armor. Um, has turned and is no longer looking at you and has continued in the direction it was originally heading, uh, basically kind of north, northwest-ish. Mm -hmm. At a slow, very slow, ponderous gait. Well. Farewell. <laughs> you pal. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm half so... tempted to give it the finger as it goes by, but also I'd like uh -huh. to... <laughs> you okay. know, just just cause but also we got something to do <laughs> right so let's get into the forest let's follow All these right. tracks so, so you I'm want me to roll need, for uh, the uh, survival yep. again survival roll to head into the forest 
Mm, let me see if you get any mishaps. You need help with that. Oh, let me know if you need any help with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I clearly Probably. did need some help. That would be good. Kark has learned his lessons having ripped a some some part of clothing. We haven't actually decided. Have you decided what, what you ripped? I have not, no. Um, what does one usually rip while walking in the forest? Your briefs. Yeah. yeah. As a father of a four-year-old, I'm happy to admit that I um, most recently ripped the crotch out of a pair of jeans when I was lifting my, picking my son up. <laughs> yeah. That's never happened yeah. before. Mine always go out of the hems and the knees and the crotch. <laughs> okay. Not simultaneously. I just Let's... wear them to the top of it. <laughs> Sorry, that was completely my fault for going off topic there. Um, Thanks. No, that's that's <laughs> fair. Um, yeah, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna say that it just rips a big old hole in the crotch. Okay. And I like it. Don't look too closely, or you're gonna see my wee green danglers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody's looking. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, right. I'll make sure they look. Okay. Um, so the way I imagine this is that because it also takes a lot longer to travel through forest, um, as you enter it, it's um, the pace is slowed right down. Um, it's also now, as you're traveling in here, the, the time of day is also changing. So to bring up the whiteboard again, um, you can see here that we're moving from daytime to the evening. And to... For those of you who haven't played Forbidden Lands before, this is normally when you'd start thinking about setting up a camp and thinking about sleeping for the night, especially as one of you is already sleepy. Um, <laughs> yeah, Arlek uh, is gonna need to is need to get gonna need to crash. That's some that's some wits left. <laughs> um, but you don't have to. I mean, you can keep you can keep trudging on. It's up to you. But it's now it's now heading into the like this, the later half of the day, coming up to evening. So, Harry, the first half of the evening quarter. <laughs> Thank you for being specific. Um, and in fact, because it's getting later in the day and the sun is, is kind of heading towards the, the kind of the zenith of its, of its journey. Um, is zenith the right one? Is that the end? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Oh, fuck. No, is zenith the highest? And Nadir is, is the lowest. Yeah. Yeah, it's heading towards idea. the toward, heading towards the setting horizon, whichever direction that's in in this um, fantasy world. Anyway, <laughs> um, you've <laughs> also entered the forest. Again. You're 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 kind of traveling through this this deep dark forest and following the you know taking your time to follow the tracks, which we'll get a we'll get a scouting roll in a second from you, um, Ed, as well. Um, it gets dark very quickly. You know, it's the sun is setting. You're in this deep forest, and there's not really much further that you can go. So. Um, uh. In fact, don't, don't worry about the scouting roll. Actually, stop. Stop for the scouting roll. Um, you, you'll need the scouting roll to see where they've gone to exit this to exit this hex. Um, okay. For now, if you're gonna if you're gonna think about um, dividing up the the various things that you can do, um, we'll do that mm -hmm. first. So, okay. um, if you look in in on the whiteboard, or if you're watching um, at home at this at our digital whiteboard here, um, there's the various things you can do during the um, during these quarter quarter days and this basically mm -hmm. effectively means that it takes an entire quarter day to um to do these so really if i was to look at the at the time we're kind of we're kind of here we're kind of at the um we're just entering evening um it's mm -hmm. taken you two um it's your entire morning was filled with traveling two hexes through the plains your entire daytime was filled up with um basically entering yeah that's right your entire daytime was then was then um, taken up with uh, entering the forest. So ignore what I just said about the sun setting. The sun is now setting as you're deep into the forest, and <laughs> there we are. Apologies. I'll get my head around this. In fact, it might be nice to put the to put the the marker as I've done, like on a um, when you're entering a new a new time. Mm -hmm. So it's coming up to the evening. Uh, what do you want to do? What do you lot reckon? I could. I think it's I could use a time. spell and some I could eat, but. Uh... I'm afraid we might lose the trail too, or they might get further ahead. We could force it, but I'd rather kind of rest if you, they'll be resting. If we're going to have a fight, we should be rested, because if you go into a fight not rested, you're not going to do so well. Yeah, all right. And yeah, you know what? I agree with a little green worm. <laughs> hey, I'll show you a little green worm. <laughs> you try that once before. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm looking at you coming back for seconds. Oh my god. <laughs> I want to uh, try to find some tree to curl up under here. No, I'm, I can. Uh, Did one of us not have a tent? I, I do indeed. In the tent. Well, I, I figure can... we don't have a camp yet, so if I want to I... sleep now, I'm going to have to sleep rough. Yeah, I can set up camp. That's true. So making camp um, is one of the things you can do. It's a survival role. No, I, I don't think any of you have the gear. quartermaster talent. Um, uh, no, not, but no. I get some bonuses from, from gear, so I can... Okay, but again, only oh, one sweet. person rolls for that. So before you roll for that, can we just can we decide who's doing what? If you're stopping and starting to make camp and everything, okay. um, people can help. So if you want somebody to help you make camp, you'll get one extra skill dice for that roll. Um, but people can also forage. They can um, potentially hunt. There's if I, if I pull this over a little bit so people well, at home can if see. If somebody helps Ed make camp, then I can go and try foraging. And that will, you know, mean that we don't have to actually eat our rations, which are almost certainly horrible. Um, Fair point. I'd probably recommend that someone keeps watch. Um, if you're going to forage, All then right. one other person could do one of the other things. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Handily, goes, goes four of us foraging, and I'll I'll scout and I'll look, keep an eye out while uh, the uh, who wants to rest? And... Who wants to rest now and keep watch? this evening i'll do that all right <laughs> so nobody's helping get a hit if that's I'm fine, going forward, fine well what's yeah. what's leary doing he knows what he's doing uh i was just debating on whether to offer to help fix the <laughs> car is... chance let's have a look Ooh. at your character sheet very quickly what is my yeah actually crafting um, comes off a of strength I could Lyria. probably have a shot at fixing my own trousers you haven't got any survival but you've got a very high wits so yeah. For fixing his pants? Oh, fixing pants is a crafting role. Yeah, so you got yeah. three, right. three plus one on that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was that. just thinking that if they're all out doing things, trying to get us food and stuff, if I do that, then um, where's it going with this? Something about sleeping later. People can actually sleep. Yeah. One less thing he has to do. Sure. And it's going to take a quarter. A, a crafting role is a quarter day to, to manage. So, yeah. And I have to make a... Um... Survival roll to see if I can sleep hard, right? Um, no, as long as you sleep, I think. As no, but he's not. Sleep, he's uh, not sleeping in a camp. That's that's. Yeah, the we issue. don't have a camp yet. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just. Uh, I'll look it up later. That's I, that sounds fine to me. That you make an endurance. You make an endurance roll. Um, okay, yeah. endurance. What did you say? Survival. Survival. Um, yeah, survival. I think it is a survival roll. I think yeah. Yeah, survival. Right. Then here we go. Two dice. I'm gonna be tired tonight. <laughs> Oh, yes. nailed it! Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I just I God. pass out yeah. underneath Greta against a tree, and <laughs> it's gone. You lost you Holy lost more shit. blood than you thought. In fact, you haven't eaten or yeah. you haven't eaten or um, drunk anything either. Remember that? Oh, okay. I um, ate and drank before I went to sleep. Let me roll that. All right. <laughs> So uh, in this game as well, doing, we have um, consumable dice. Um, we did talk about adding, um, we've talked about offline, whether we're going to do another house rule, um, which is using um, D6s from the alien RPG. But we're going to, I think we're going to stick with, with Raw for this for now. I wasn't included mm -hmm. in that discussion. Screw you. I'm sure, I'm sure we had it in the... It was in the Discord. How are we doing consumable dice? Uh, you can scroll up to where oh, you I did the help. It. Um, I think yep. it's RF, and then you just D whatever. Yeah, that is food. <laughs> so your your food goes, goes down. down. There's actually a different and... dice for this. There's actually different dice for that, but don't worry uh, about it. Mm. Like a dice um, command. And this is water. Okay. So you can do NML. you can do RF and then R E space R E S and then the D eight number. So that you put like a resource number in there. Um, okay. I'll just show right. you what it looks like then. So RF resource D8, for example, um, looks like that. Oh, great. Yeah. Cool. So it actually has That's like great. icons and stuff for it, which is kind of cool. Um, anyway, yeah. So you've um, you take a you take a drink of water and you eat some food. And you said your food goes down. Is that right? Yeah, food went down. Okay. Um, for people listening um, that aren't familiar, Forbidden Lands has a, uh, a consumable dice, which is a, a polyhedral dice, so a, a non six or well, what we refer to the dice that aren't necessarily six-sided normal, um, and they they scale up and down. So now that he's rolled a d8, it lands on lands on a one. That means it it scales down to the next lower dice type. So his food is now d6. 
Um, but he didn't roll a one on his water, so he still has a D8 for water. So rather than tracking individual units, uh, we we'll track it this way. Cool. All right. I so you're you're nice down. You're, to do things. Yeah, you're down and you're sleeping now. Um, so let's resolve the make camp roll next. <laughs> Wait into hit enter. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was Ooh, it. Ooh, he didn't um, succeed there. No, but I'm gonna push I'm not... the roll. Or not. <laughs> that face was like, you're not pushing. Ah, <laughs> uh, I always forget the conversation we have online all the time <laughs> about with with making camp and stuff, whether whether pushing We've been leaning towards no and saving yeah, no. those for okay. like combat situations, I think, yeah. wasn't it? Or survival situations. There's a I'm trying oh, to stress situations. Yeah. So the idea here is that for things like like this, for journeying, um, traveling type of things, you don't really roll you can't really push. So But that's fine. You just we roll a we roll mishap then. That's right. So in in a situation if it was like like I don't know, blizzards and that kind of thing, if we were setting up camp, would that then be allowed to have a push? Because there's potential for stress and damage, or still yeah, we, we would try. We would be trying to put extra effort into our actions at that point. Okay. I okay. think we would. I'm not sure that's necessarily the case um, because okay. the the situation the the external circumstances would result in a modifier to your role. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Rather than just making it a straight up roll, and then you could be able to push it. Um, It'd be it'd make it harder for you to to make a camp anyway, and oh, okay. that'll be reflected in the in the number of dice you're rolling. Okay, no problem. So, yeah, I I kind of lean towards cool. saying no in that in that instance. Okay, okay, um, so give me a d sixty six roll again. R F d sixty six with an exclamation point, please. That would help them there. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-one. Please tell me it's not hands. Please okay. tell me it's hands. This is going to happen later, so that's fine. Keep making note of it. You yep. tore your breeks. <laughs> not again. <laughs> okay, let's next do um, Charlotte's mending uh, the crafting role, then, please. Yeah, Kark, give me your pants before you go. Let me try and fix those for you. It's going to take. Coffee. It's actually going to take the, an entire quarter day to do a crafting role. So, um, Kark is going to need to be Starkers while he's hunting, which. <laughs> Probably doesn't really bother him very much, I would imagine. Probably prefers it. Just like the old days before civilization. <laughs> before you met me. Yeah. Before I All learned right. about the concept of shame. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, I'll wake him off and get into her. Like, and crafting isn't, isn't kind surprising. of the same thing. Um, yeah. I'll let you push this one if you want to, huh. as it's not one of the it's not one of the journeying activities. It's a little bit outside of the um, the norm. You know what? True, and I don't have any skulls on there, so nothing can really go wrong. Yeah. Well, it would mind. be a real shame if you hurt yourself. And we let our like do we let our like push his role for the crafting role as well for a quarter night, so it makes um, let's keep it consistent. And okay, so um, you don't really you don't really manage to patch the hole in Kark's trouser crotch. Um, in fact, I, you really need make extra it material for somehow that. making it even even bigger. You're not sure what cloth he's using. Even it's like, what what the hell is this goblin wearing? Like it just it stretches in a way it's not supposed to. It doesn't stretch when it should. It's just weird. You don't know, and you don't actually. It smells. It smells bad. So you're kind of like your heart's not in it. You're like I've tried. You know what I've tried. I'm not touching when, any more goblin trousers for the rest of my life if I if I have my way. When he gets back, I'll have it rolled up in a ball and just toss it to him. It's like there's no saving this. Not <laughs> even <on> fire. <laughs> cool. All right. So um, <laughs> last but again not least, we're gonna we're gonna do the hunting roll. Um, yeah. So the first thing you do, um, Harry with Kark, is you give me a survival roll to see if you find anything. Sure. It's all I've ever rolled so far. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that. All hey! Right. All right. And then the I'll second thing to do to then see it, folks. Um, is give me a D6 roll to tell me what you find. Are you foraging or hunting? He's hunting. You said hunting, right? Uh, I said foraging. Oh, I, I apologize. I apologize. Um, then you don't need to give me another roll. Um, 
Mm. All right, then. It's modified by... I forgot to modify it. We'll just let it slide because you got two... Six, it would have been modified by uh, minus... Oh, uh, no, we're in a forest, so it goes minus one, plus one, so we're good. Um, yep. If I had to yeah, modify average. it, it would take one of your skill dice away, but you rolled the sixes on your attribute dice, so all good. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's a weird one where you roll the... That's why you have to have them different colors. I can see how that could throw you apart. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so... You find uh, foraging, you find, um, I think you make a roll to see how many you find. I think you uh, get first the you have to specify, units. Yeah, so first you have to specify whether you're looking for food or water. Oh, I think I was looking for food. Okay. I was under the impression that yeah. that was what we were wanting. Okie doke. Um, Success means that you find a number of units of vegetables in the form of edible roots or plants equal to the number of successes you rolled. So you find two units of vegetables. Um, they can be cooked by a chef, which none of you have the talent to mean chef, which means if you're going to use your campfire to cook them, to eat them, um, that's fine. You can eat them um, now without having to roll, but um, you can't make them into field rations. So basically, you can feed two people without needing to roll today. That makes sense but they're not converted into, into rations. Um, Arlek is already sleeping. He's already eaten. Um, well, who likes wild garlic? <laughs> Me, please. <laughs> yeah. What else is good this time of year? Assorted leaves. <laughs> <laughs> so, Some sorrel? Actually, gonna in move... all seriousness, though, uh, linden tree leaves, uh, when they're brand new, are really nice. So this has been the evening happening. Um, we're now towards the tail end of the evening. Um, Arlek has slept for six hours. Um, Kark has come um, back from his from his foraging with some with some vegetables. Um, Ed has has finished making camp, and Charlotte has had enough of trying to mend <laughs> Kark's smelly trousers. Um, I'm going to roll for my resources of water because I'm going to have one of the units of vegetables and stuff if that's what. Cock is going to give me. Your. Oh. So if everyone else is eating as well, we'll assume that you're having like a little dinner time thing around mm -hmm. the fire. Um, Wild oh, garlic mix soup. So I'll need each of you to roll your um, resource dice for the various bits. Um, and I'm just going okay, to, the people well, watching, not. I'm just going to show yeah. um, how it looks. Okay. So Lyria a has D6 a D8 food. water and a D6 food. So yep. that's the dice you roll to see if they if they go down, up or so down. So I just rolled mine, um, and mine went down, so I went from a D8 to a D6. For your food, right? Uh, no, for my oh, for your water, water right, yep. Yeah. So change that on your character sheet, please. Yep. Um, Kark has a D6 in water and a D8 in food. Mm -hmm. That's if you're fine with the water then. And um, Lyria... Do I need to roll for the food if we're eating the stuff? No, I just no, you don't, need, you don't need to roll, no. Only two people, well, two people can eat that, so only one person needs to roll for food. Is that right? Yeah, so are you eating the food or are you going to give it to Lyria? I guess is the I think question. we should give it to Lyria. So okay. I'll roll on my own food today. Unless, of course, Lyria doesn't want to eat like, semi raw <laughs> wild garlic. Uh, I would look at my pack and see uh, my own stores are kind of low, so I would, as graciously as I could muster, Accept the food. Fairly gracious. <laughs> yeah. Okay. In that case, I will roll my d8. Boz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're down to a d6 then for your food. Um, and um, Charlotte, I'm gonna need a roll for water from Lyria, which is for you is a what d8. You're and good. I am good. Yeah. Cool. All right. So, um, you are you're. Basically, you've made the camp. Um, we're now entering the next um, period of the of the cycle, which is the nighttime. Um, Arlek is waking up from his from his sleep. He's no longer <laughs> sleepy, um, and the rest of you need to um, get some sleep. Get some sleep. The rest of us are yeah. sleepy. I'll keep a lookout, <laughs> guys. So, um, is there, are the rest of you taking going to sleep? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all right, Greta. I'm going to put my trousers <clears throat> back on before I go to sleep, hole and all. 
They're now if, essentially a goblin skirt. <laughs> nice. Could I yeah. could I take a shot at his uh, trousers while I'm yeah I'm watch? Be my guest, I guess. I'll I mean, it doesn't it doesn't really need. I don't I don't have any problem with people who take an entire. I mean, you're not keeping watch then. Um, oh, okay, well I'll keep him watching instead. Because the idea is that you're spending <laughs> you're spending this time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Make sure nothing happens to us while we're so. Yeah. This is Probably where this is where the mishap from the making camp comes into play. Um, oh, I forgot about that. What was rolled? Oh. <laughs> what was rolled was a downpour. A massive rainfall hey. starts in the middle of the night. Oh. The camp is flooded and everything gets soaking wet. <sighs> All adventurers must roll for the effects of cold, and no one gets any sleep this night. Apart from our leg, who's already slept. <laughs> hey, um, what about having a tent? All right. Yeah. Let's I imagine what a this... tent would probably help. No, no. Yeah, I mean, this is the assumption. Yeah. The assumption it's here is that from... is that the, the camp hasn't hasn't been made well, <laughs> and when it rains, it's basically flooded through the tent. The tent's made it's of cloth. This isn't like real life once. So, what do I need to do? Sorry. Um, so you're all rolling for the effects of cold. Um, I, uh, which so I need to just, look uh, up because I've that's something I've. Uh, not done I can you help me know what to do for that? I'm guessing it's an endurance test. It's something. an endurance test. Yeah. Uh, oh, I get a bonus. You have to roll an endurance Ooh. test. Um, otherwise, what happens? You become cold. You get the cold um, condition. Which we'll talk about later to see if any of you have it first. Oh, okay, okay. So everybody needs, apart from Arlek, everybody needs to roll. Um, um, I have a blanket. Well, oh, fact, no, I mean, I no got... you got it too. You have to roll it too. In fact, you just you're no, slept. Alright, so it's my strength. I got my success for the cold. What happened there, Harry? I don't know. I thought I did it right. Numbers right. first, then uh, letters. Oh yeah. Oh. 4B. Um, do I get to add my um, my blanket, which protects me from the cold? I forgot my blanket. But yeah, it helps. Sure. Cool. Or, I mean, it'd be soaking wet, so... That's true, yeah. Yeah, but if it's nice wool, then it'll still work. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll let, you, I'll let you roll for it. I'll let you use it. Nope. <laughs> and no pushing on this roll either. Man, I need a blanket. I need a blanket. That's gonna have a lot of cold people. Ah, oh. yeah. Did anybody succeed? Oh. Eric, nope. I didn't see. I, did. I didn't see your roll. Okay. Mine was the first. Okay. We've got to huddle together to preserve our body warmth. So Arlik is Arlik is rested and he's and he's not cold. The rest of yeah. you are both sleepy and cold. Um, I... as we move from the night into the start of the morning phase. You didn't get any sleep. Like this for a game um, the downpour s kind of slows down as the as the night wears on and the morning starts coming. As dawn approaches, it's basically stops raining completely. So, what do you oh, want to do? No. You could theoretically um, try and fix your camp and sleep again, so you're not sleep all sleepy, but you'd be wasting time. How bad oh, is being miserable. sleepy in terms of mechanics? I need to look that uh, up. Sleepy is but... a one wits damage, and you can't recover it until you sleep. Yeah, that's right. Well, how important is it anyway? I was tired Says the person who is only rolling survival, which is a wit skill. <laughs> 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 I mean, if you're rolling survival, you're rolling scouting. Those are both using wits. So at the moment, while you're traveling, it's it's fairly important. I think it's pretty important. Yeah. I wasn't being serious, Matt. If we just move away from this depression that I uh, set the cap up in, maybe we could go <laughs> somewhere nicer. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Follow those those soaring tracks. So, every one of you who is cold immediately takes one point of damage to both your strength and your wits. Oof. Mm -hmm. So I need you all to mark that on your character sheets. That's the effects of being cold. Um, oh, and in fact, I think. Were you cold How do I from the temporary damage? Oh right, I see it's got a wee box. Durr. Anyway, um, yeah. I won't have you okay. hallucinating or freezing to death because it's the springtime, not the winter. <laughs> and it's it's towards the end God of spring that. as well. Thanks for that. Um, Sorry yeah. guys and ladies. Oh, you don't control the weather, Kai. It's all right. 
Um, I let you down. So I'll let you... Um, so the idea here is that, I mean, the downpour put your fire out as well. Um, you can warm yourselves by a fire to get rid of the cold condition and kind of dry your clothes out and everything, but it's going to take a, a quarter day to do that. So it's up to you how you want to... That's how you get rid of the cold condition, right? You got to warm your clothes up um, in front yeah. of a fire. Um, so do you want to do that now or do you want to... Um, I, I think we should do that now and then um, I'll make camp. Like we're gonna we're gonna make it another make camp roll, but it's gonna basically be fixing the camp, right? Yeah. Um, um, and maybe somebody well, can help well, you this time because it's gonna I'll be help. you're gonna have a reduced <laughs> um reduced stat from from being cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and remember that gives you an extra skill dice for the help rather than yeah. um, and more more than one person can help as well if anyone else wants to try and increase the odds of having a decent camp this time. I will I help. Think... Yeah, I think we the should all time. help. Okay, so you've got three additional <laughs> skill dice from the three, which is the Ooh. maximum you can get from from help. Um, up to three skill dice, but remember you're subtracting your your damaged um, wits. And by the way, that damaged yeah. wits doesn't give you any willpower points um, because it wasn't from pushing. Anyway, you got to do the RF first. <laughs> it's one of those days. <laughs> See, this is what we get for going in the forest. My God. There we go. There we go. All right. One day you'll freaking listen to me. <laughs> it's difficult to argue with that logic. So having seen where the rain was falling, having everyone help pitching in, um, you very quickly get a nice roaring fire going. You fix the the issues that the, the um, that it had in case it rains again, and you set up a really decent camp. So yeah. um, that's okay. the morning finish now. Um, Let's go work, guys. Do you want to? sleep now to yep. take out the sleepy yeah. condition and you just made a camp right yeah time, time's a waste and... it is um it could mean break traveling break at night really. if that's if that's the case just to let you know what that means yeah we're gonna run out of day we are our trail. and we just spend the entire day here resting recuperating and some of us are starting to run out of food so if we spend a little bit more time trying to get our resources <laughs> back up we i'm can sure we can find water for the rest it's of the day. It's true we'll that do we that. don't owe these folks much. So no. if we take we our time and, and preserve ourselves, then, you know, that's not unreasonable. No, no. Well, well we're going I mean, self care is, is not... ignoring hostages. So, uh, okay. Well, we'll, we'll sleep. Except. Alec, would you mind staying watch again? No, I'll keep You've watch. You've done really but, uh... well recently. I'm going to add a um, difficult. I'm going to make. I'm going to add disadvantage to any scouting rolls to look for the trail. Yeah. Um, because it's rained and you're, it you know sure. you're leaving it a little bit, so it's not as fresh yeah, as it was previously. Um, yeah. So I think yeah, if we if we uh, rest for the the day um we can we've really got the camp going so the camp is there the evening or the late afternoon into the early evening we can hunt forage fish whatever yeah. we want to do yeah um and then we'll sleep for the night and then we'll pick up the tracks in the morning okay is that right. like a plan mm -hmm. who's keeping watch plan. so you're going to be sleeping during the daytime right now Yes, yeah, so we'll sleep during the daytime with Arlik staying watch. Okay. I think that's reasonable. So um, I'm going to ask Arlik then to give me a scouting roll to cover your right. watch keeping. No successes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> In which case, you don't notice as something creeps up on your camp. <laughs> don't worry, guys. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's just um. It's just a bear. Oh. Bears aren't dangerous. Everyone knows that. Um, Arlek, you're you're kind of um, 
you're bored a little bit. It's during the day. You're like everyone's sleeping. Um, yeah. You're kind of you're kind of you know got your hands in front of the fire, just kind of looking around, and you hear the underbrush breaking from behind you. Oh shit! What and was that? you look, I guess, and what you see is kind of you've when you made this camp, you kind of cleared away. You know, kind of made a little little clearing where you could where you could have this camp, um, or maybe you found a little clearing in the woods where you made it. Um, and basically, just entering the clearing and stopping, staring straight at you, is a bear. And I should stop here and say this is exactly what happened before I had the nearly total par- party wipe with my Simbroom game. Um, anyway, this isn't Simbroom, and it's not three abors. It's um, it's a bear. It's not a monstrous okay. bear. It's a normal a normal brown bear, but still significantly bigger and heavier than any of you what do you do everyone else is sleeping yeah yeah so arlick is like oh shit and (laughs) kind of like scrambles back and i'm going to reach for like one of the the flaming brands from like the fire and kind of stagger to my feet and start being like guys wake up wake up the bear Holding the flaming brand toward the bear. Okay. Um, Brave. Why don't you give me... I'm trying to think whether we want to handle this as a role. Because and a bear is what we consider like a, a dumb animal in this game, which means it doesn't have any wits. It doesn't have any empathy, um, which means trying to manipulate an animal doesn't can't work. Stare at that. Um, <laughs> but knowing, knowing how bears work in life, there's always a chance that that you'll give yourself a little bit of time. So why don't you give me some sort of... What, any any thoughts on what kind of role you could give me for this? Probably survival, I would imagine. Mm, to, like, intimidate yeah. the bear. Yeah, survival's a good shout. Yeah. All right. Yeah, knowing about how how kind of bears work. And that's tied to wits, which which makes sense to me. <laughs> All right, so, do I get a bonus handling. die for my burning... I'll give, you, I'll give you a gear die for that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, great. Let's do that. Ah, tell you what, Matt. How about yeah. I use one of my willpower points, Ooh. and I roll my animal handling skill. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh shit! Nice. Have I just given you a pet bear? Maybe. No. Okay. No. What's your What's your talent that you're using this on? Uh, adaptive. Human. The human talent. Adaptive. Oh right. So you can use a different skill instead, right? Okay. Yep. Right, and why are you rolling animal hand? Oh, okay. So tell me how. Like, you have to kind of give me a, a justification yeah. for why you're using animal handling well, in this. Here, there's a bear, which yeah. is an animal, <laughs> and, and I, you're handling I intend it. to handle it uh, <laughs> using my extensive knowledge of dealing with other animals in the past. I feel like I can apply uh, some uh, similar principles. It's it's a little bit outside of the box, but um, I'll allow it. <laughs> It is. <laughs> what I mean All more right. is like, are you? How are you handling it? Is kind of what I'm getting at. Yeah, of at. course. Yeah. Are you I trying mean, to I'm befriend it? You trying gently. to scare it off? What? Uh, uh, yeah. No. I mean, I think. Yeah. So you know, that's a good point. Yeah. So so I'm like, I'm staring at the bear. I'm sort of holding my ground, keeping the torch there, right? And I'm not advancing on it. I'm not trying to threaten it. And like, I'm making a lot of noise. Yeah. I'm yelling it for the others. And I'm just kind of making myself seem as threatening as possible to keep the bear at least back temporarily. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. You don't have any animal handling? Uh, I do. I'm not sure. What ha- oh, I know. Sorry. Hold on. I, you I did wrote... base twice. So just roll three I S. Did. Just roll three S. We'll add that to it. I mean, you succeeded <laughs> okay. anyway, but just to see how many successes you got. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, the bear doesn't look that interested um, anymore. Like as you do this, you kind of you kind of more or less know what you're doing, or you think you know what you're doing, right? Um, oh yeah. Get on out here. <laughs> making a lot of noise, waving the waving the torch around, and the bear kind of everyone wakes up as well at the same time, um, and. The bear lose like kind of just turns its back on you and, and kind of um shuffles back into the forest. Yeah, you go on now. What? Get out of here. Huh? Go find something else to chew on. Greta, calm down, it's all right. 
<laughs> oh shit! You've got a goat and a donkey. Ah, oh, that's fine. That's why I would have. I would have. If I would have realized that, I would have done some disadvantage, which would have reduced your skill dice. But you succeeded mm. on your um, attribute, so it wouldn't have come into play anyway. Okay. All right. So you, yeah, you've avoided. You've avoided the bear. I don't have to paste the image of a bear onto the whiteboard to do initiative with um, fighting a bear. Um. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. Um, not that I'm the one that threw a bear at you, of course. So, um, the daytime passes without any further incident. Your adrenaline's pumping. You're like much more on the alert after that. After that <laughs> happened, um, everyone had, had had a little bit of sleep anyway. So we'll kind of everyone manages to get back to sleep, and we pass towards the evening as you're all waking up. And apart from Arlek, um, everyone else is waking up. And yeah, do you want to eat before you head out? Um, well, I think that what we'll do is we'll probably um, spend the night. Spend the night here still. Uh, just continue with the camp, but we'll just use the camp as the base, and then go out and look for water and food. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Yep. Um, leaving Arlek to kind of okay. rest. Okay. Keeping track of the days here yeah. as well, by the way. Well, um, but yeah. Okay. Ed, how about one of us goes for water, one of us goes for food. One has to stay in the camp while Eric sleeps, or while Arlek sleeps. Well, that makes sense. Here we are. You happy to stay in the camp, or do you want to go look for water or food? I'm all right. I can I can keep watch on the camp more. But won't you be asleep? Nah, I'll sleep later. All right. Okay, so who's doing what exactly then? Um, Arlek is keeping watch again. Foraging, hunting. What's what's happening with the rest? Uh, all right, Key. Let's. Um, I'll forage. You get water. Okay. That's for, basically Lyria. both foraging. One's foraging for food, and one's foraging for water. Okay. So if Lyria then. S Lyria can help. One of you. She I'm, can. Um, so sleep. Well, I'm just thinking. Someone needs to. Whoever's going to be. Guarding tonight needs to sleep now. Hey, I'll sleep some more. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> so, yep, by the way, of well. course, you're you've um, all three of you slept have slept, so you've cleared the um, sleepy condition too. Okay. Oh, yeah. sweet. Then I will. Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> that does not come into play. Um, so you're all clear of conditions now, I believe, right? Yeah. Um, Kark so still has a Jesus. hole in in your trousers. <laughs> um, yeah. Which I just need to read that again. What I um, what I'd said earlier about it. Torn clothes. I think it leaves me slightly vulnerable to the cold. Yeah. If I guess it was winter or anything like that, that would probably be worse. It, it said mean, you had to yeah. roll for the effects of cold. So what I should have done earlier, um, what I said is when when it got to nighttime, um, you potentially would have lost some more um, strength. But mm. yeah, if that'll come into play again. This as we get into the um, the night phase. Um, You'll need to roll again for cold because your yeah. bits are dangling out. <laughs> <laughs> but I would guess that. Um, but you can, again, somebody can try and roll sleeping. a crafting roll to try and repair them. Yeah, anyway. Okay. So right. that's something to consider is maybe, yeah, someone's going to need to, someone's going to need to repair. Otherwise, you're going to be yeah. rolling for cold again when, you, when you're do trying we need, to sleep. Yeah. Do we need food or water more? Food, I think. I'm at a D6. Kark is at a D6. I'm not sure what uh, you and uh, our luck are at. D6 uh, now. I think it's not an emergency until you're on a D4, really. There is no D4. There is no D4. <laughs> once, no you, D4. <laughs> once you roll a 1 on a D6, you're out. <laughs> then I would say we definitely need water. Yeah. <laughs> Only okay. one. Oh, um, I don't know. It's even, right? Oh. It's I'll good. go get some water. In fact, you've got less food than you've... Three of you have D6s on food. One of you has a D8 on food. And it's two and two with D8s and D6s on, on water, so... I think I'd prefer to have water than... With no it food. just raining, would it give them a benefit to finding water? <laughs> um, <laughs> mm. I mean, like you know what? We're session, we're session one. I'll be, I'll be nice. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Oh, don't be nice on us on uh, that. Oh, account, don't worry. I mean. Don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll remember this. <laughs> you I'm want good. you want a, a measly skill dice right now to find water no problem 
<laughs> what was that about leaving the woods and going south? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we got you by the short and curlies, Matt. We can fuck this whole thing up. Hey, we're, we we have a half an hour left until we're finished, so we're um we're well within my prep zone. <laughs> Session one is all about uh, traveling. This is kind of not as exciting as maybe um other other games, but well, we came close to finding a Nazgul, so that was cool. Yeah, and, and a bear, a bear that almost yeah. ate me. So, and we still have half an hour left. A lot can happen between now and then. That's true. So let's let's do some rolling. Um, what are you what are you foraging for? Both water or uh, one water, one food. Water. Yeah. Charlotte, what's have you decided what Leary's going to be doing? Sleeping my ass off. Cause okay. Fuck this. So and <laughs> Harry is Cart going to be foraging for food then? Uh. I think I'm going to try fixing my own breaks. Okay. So crafting roll from you, survival roll from Ed. Aye. Yep. I think uh, let's see that. what I've got. Yeah, I've got four in strength, nothing in crafting, so it's just a, a straight up four dice. I don't have any willpower, do I? No. Boy, you, know. you, I am allowing you to push that if you want. Click the little red, the little blue thing if you want to push it, but you're going to take at least one damage. Bearing in mind, you're going to be sleeping soon too, so. I can't imagine how I could put more effort into fixing my breaks and then hurt myself in the it's process. It's fine. I mean, I let I let um, Eric and Charlotte both do pushing on a on a roll. So I'm aware. It's just that I just simply cannot imagine it. All right. I I'm can sorry. See how I'm I could hurt myself doing it. But... I'm just gonna get cold knackers. It's fine. All right. I'll. Uh... See if I can find some water for everyone. Yay. One one unit of water. Uh, so that means I think um, someone's dice goes up by one. Yeah, exactly. So water is different to food. Right. And Who's got the least amount of water? Well, you, you have a D6. You're the one looking for it. So I would just say okay. you take it. To do it, okay. Water is actually the annoying one because one success means you just fill it up. All the way yeah. to D12 if you want. Yeah. Guess I'll put that on a D12. Then. <laughs> yeah. That's always bothered me. I mean, it, it makes sense a little bit. Forever. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense. You find a spring yeah, and you can of... like get as much water yeah, as you need. Yeah, of course. But, yeah. 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 Makes, you can makes food transfer a lot harsher. water from one container to another. It yeah, is this is the thing as well. Is it's like he's found water, but he's only filling his own canteen. He's not telling exactly, any, anyone, yeah. anyone else yeah. where it is. Yeah, it's but he bit... can share it. He can get to give us like a unit and yeah. drop it yeah. by one. According to the ancient chronicles, the Which transfer I... of liquids from one container to the other is forbidden. Who else is on D6s? Me. Um, I'll give you one then, so I go down to D10. Hey. Anybody else on D6s? No, just the two of you. I think okay. with water. That's fine. Thank you kindly. You are a gent. All right. I try. <laughs> For one of my best friends. Okay. Holy it is now... I'm your only friend. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> it just, is now... It's just me and the donkey. It is now nighttime. Okay. What are you going to do? Who's doing what? Sleep in? Who's sleeping, first of all? Uh, I guess... Larry has slept us. already. So everyone yeah, else is I'll be sleeping. keeping watch. And you're keeping watch. Yeah, um, I don't mind staying up and getting tired again because <laughs> no like during our journey rolls like i figured these guys do most of the heavy lifting with wits so and i'm a pretty good scout actually but larry has just slept as well yeah so well help. there's no real i point. would like to sleep because i'm gonna need my wits mm -hmm. yeah yeah um and you've all you get get some sleep then oh well i'd be urging everyone to sleep all right you seem all rational right. greta i just don't want to deal with anyone else <laughs> Suit yourself. If I die, I'm gonna come back as the most irritating character I can think of. <laughs> Just saying, you've all got a reason to want to preserve me. Okay, so, um, how are people doing with damage and stuff? By the way, fine. Yeah, I think I'm yeah. fine. 
because um, okay. you're all cold and you took some strength damage. I, nobody's taken a, a huge but then amount. Then we slept. We get warm, so then that. And you've all eaten, so it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, so all of our damage is negated now, right? Yeah. Apart from apart from Harry, Kark <clears throat> is going to have to roll for cold now that it's we're in the nighttime phase. Yes. So, so it's a straight endurance test, as I understand it. Mm -hmm. And we lost a whole day. You no. haven't got a blanket either, have you? No, you've lost a whole day as well. No. Yeah. No, I should. Really need to find like a bunch of moles and make a blanket out of them. Fuck a doodle do. You can't push that one either. No, oh, that's ridiculous. Which of us have blankets? Ed and you. I've got a blanket. Ed and me. I, I think we just like we're cozy under a blanket. Cocks <laughs> 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 over there. Uh. Um, I could give cock. <laughs> Too late. Um, I mean, if you want to give him, I mean, you're, yeah, you'd have to yeah, give it to him before. I'll, 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 I'll you have to ask us. Can I not cuddle up next to the nanny goat? <laughs> goats okay. give like goats are like a you know like a large dog for me. It kind of gives off help, a lot of body warmth. Help skill die from the goat. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> roll roll a roll a skill dice for spooning your goats. <laughs> <laughs> what else did Hopefully I get? It's a hairy goat. <laughs> you get you get one you get one skill dice. So R F one S. Aww. Aww. Damn you, nanny goat. Out. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna make we're gonna make goat curry if you don't. <laughs> don't worry, cut. I'll um I'll let you have my blanket tomorrow night. I promise not to return it sticky. <laughs> God. <laughs> All right, moving swiftly on. Um, the <laughs> night, the night ends. There's no, there's no, there's no, um, nothing happens during the night, and <laughs> like there's oh, no, ne there's are. no role needed from Lyria. Um, yeah, and morning breaks. Do you want to continue on your way? Uh, yes. Let's find the soggy trail. Or you can, can. I mean, you're you're welcome trail. to forage and try and mend those trousers again. Waste another day. By all means. I don't think we can reasonably The forest waste can provide. Day. No. No. <laughs> nope. Yeah, what happened to the forest providing? This has gone poorly. <laughs> it did provide. Yeah, you, you got, got water, water and you got some food. We, got we could have been out of here yesterday. Okay, so what are you doing? Uh, I guess we're going to try and see if we can pick up that trail. Yeah, so I need a survival roll from you, and it needs to be modified by minus one skill dice. Mm -hmm. So again, if we look at your character sheet... Okay. Oh, actually, I get quite a lot for this. So that's not bad. Survival's one, right? Uh, survival is what? Actually, no. I lie. <laughs> You're looking at scouting, weren't you? Yeah. Oh, it is scouting. Ah! It is scouting. Sorry. Is it? Oh, yeah, no, it is. It's yeah, like, because sorry. you're you're kind of tracking. It's yeah, um it's scouting, right. not survival. Sorry. Yeah. And there's an argument to be made for either, but I'm, I've been going with scouting. That's can fine. I help with that? You can. Yeah. Um, I think an extra die. Okay. If you've got any points, I'm going to say if you've got any points in scouting. I have two in scouting. That's fine. Okay. I've got four. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, he's got four now. I mean, he's got a minus one from the rain. Oh, yeah. So. Okay. So we'll go with. Uh, I was going to go with actually help. minus two because of the rain and you okay. wasted a day, right? So. That's fine. That's okay. You'll still be rolling three. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, you managed to find you managed to find the trail. Um, Can't hide a trail from me. <laughs> <laughs> you're good. And yeah, basically the trail is um, is leading not deeper into the forest, but um, uh, if people looking on YouTube can see, like kind of to the uh, upper left there, so to your east northeast ish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I will need, as you're going into the next, uh, into this next hex, I'm going to need... Isn't that objective northwest? What objective? You said it's leading to the east-northeast. Yeah. Relative to our position. Yep. Which is west. objective Wrong northwest. direction. Oh, God, west. Not west, east. west. I've been saying east the whole time, and I think I've been meaning west. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Ed has a compass in his head, like pigeons. Yeah. It's like that way. <laughs> to the left. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this this direction over to here. the left. I can't um, so, turn left. I'm not an ambi turner. Okay. Um, so I guess I'm going to be scouting for that quarter of the day. Following the trail. Mm, I guess I'm assuming out. it's. I mean, I'm assuming it's going to be the same rolls as before. So, Kark okay. needs to roll um, survival. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. R F and then it's. Yeah. All right. No mishaps. You enter the square, the hex. Um, you further, you travel not further into the forest, but you're still in the forest, but deep within the tree line. Um, mm -hmm. And deeper. Um, yeah. Um, I'm not going to require a scouting roll from from Kai. Okay. Um, but you do notice that um, as the trail goes on, you you. At some point, there's a smell that assaults your nostrils, and it's it's the smell of <laughs> of a decaying <laughs> cock, <laughs> of a decaying body. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Even I worse than the smell of. Really cock. need to get those treasures fixed. <laughs> um, and as you travel, as you travel a little bit further along. Um, the mm -hmm. smell gets stronger as you're as you're following the trail of the the saurians, um, faint though it is, yep. and you notice um, off kind of um, off to your south, off to your left as you're traveling, um, that there's a body lying on the on the ground um, up against a tree, and oh, no. you have a feeling that that's that's where this um, smell is originating from. Oh uh, now what is that? Who are you? Oh, hail. Um, as you're looking at it, the body has has been eaten by wild animals. Um, it's been here for a while. Is um, there any good meat left on it? Well, you can go have a look if you want. Yeah, let's have a look. Anyone else want to... Can I see how it died? Yeah, you can get closer and have a little look at it if you want. Does anybody want to see a dead body? So, Harry, tell me yours, then no. what's what's Kark doing? I mean, the smell is really. I mean, it's it's a it's a body that's been like eviscerated and eaten by animals and stuff, leaning up against a tree. Um, Let's go have a look at it. See what it is. How, what nah. do you mean by having a look at it? You're kind of um, well, just standing above it, like you're is kind it of a lifting. Human body? Yeah, it's a human body. As you get closer, or humanoid. Hey, Arlek. Let's, hey. Arlek, you recognize this? Uh, not, not in this shape. This one of yours? Hmm. It's still got clothes. The clothes are still um, in in place. Um, in are still kind of. Uh, what's the right way of saying this? Um, kind of intact, apart from where hmm. the animals have kind of ripped ripped out bits of it to. So kind of like tattered, but hanging on. So you can kind of still see the the remnants of the clothes around the body. Um, no positive ID. No, no. The like eyes yeah. have been eaten out. The ears have been eaten off. The like cheeks have yeah. kind of gone. Like something has been. Scavengers always eat the soft bits first. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I don't know about this one, cock. Keep going. Don't All right. Too close wow. to it. What's Lyria doing? I just want to see if there's any uh, signs of how it died. I mean, you have to take a much closer look than just looking at it all they can see is like an a, a body that's been it died from stopping breathing eaten. it's been eaten by wild animals from what the from what it looks like you could do a closer examination if you want yep. i'll keep watch of everyone yeah so you're, you're gonna get your hands dirty yeah okay um go ahead and give me a uh oh my God, a healing roll disgusting i love it you get back. You fucking smell. Worse than this goddamn body. What are you uh, looking for on that body there, Lyria? 
Oh, just some um, evidence to see what happened. I mean, if I don't know, if it was natural death, fine, sure. But if there was something bigger out there, I do not want to be walking into it. Hmm. I think the chances are poor that it's naturally dead. Well, unless you count bears as natural. Bears, I see, I bears see are all too natural. Do you want to push that? You can push bears. that roll if you want. Sure. God damn it, Rodders. Negative. <laughs> yeah, I still see yeah. nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did Rodders say? He said, do you think he saw them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Lyria needs to give me an endurance roll. Hey. Yeah, you got the herp from a corpse. You're going to uh, die of... Endurance. I sh when you say that, she turns back and says, no, I got it from your mom. I, hey. rolled <laughs> I also rolled behind the screen. I never knew my mother. I was raised by rats. <laughs> uh, endurance, right? Okay, so I got nothing in that. Hey! Okay. I push that. <laughs> you can. I mean, you're going to have one strength left if you come across anything else. You're going to go down like a house of cards but i would have two willpower points <laughs> i you. will not i will not push it okay all right you don't nothing happens um corpse just um you kind of look you kind of you're taking a look um as you're kind of leaning over it this the stench is making it hard to concentrate right you're just like <gasps> you got corpse yeah. juice on you like you're kind of lifting up, like um, you know, the the flaps of clothing, and you know, there's like maggots and all sorts of, <laughs> all sorts of stuff. It's it's not it's not pleasant uh, in any way, shape, or form. And y there's nothing jumping out at you, like <laughs> you don't you, whatever you're looking for. You're, you're not sure what you're looking for. You're like, oh, how did this thing die? Let's have a quick look. <laughs> None the wiser. Um, yeah. All that you know that your hands kind of stink now um, of of corpse of ripe corpse. Um, yeah. Yeah. You should rub your hands with ashes and water, and I'll take the stink off. You could like try lick the lick your fingers clean just before you touch anything. <laughs> no. You know what? That is a line too far. <laughs> hey, right. look, we're in lockdown for a reason. You got to wash your yeah. hands. That's true. It's, uh... Stay safe. Wash right. your hands. Public announcement. Ed, I want you to give me another. Um scouting role to exit this hex and uh, let's have a look where we are with the day as well because that's the um that is the morning traveling through this this bit of uh forest we're getting into the daytime element of the next day um am i still above minus two <laughs> um no i'm gonna make it minus one only this time because you've you found the tr you found the trail. It's and I'm just doing a minus one because it's um, it's fainter. Yeah. Yeah. So nasty. Oh. Nope. Okay. Um, you lose the trail for a bit. Um, but you think it's still going in the same direction. That seemed to be the the way it was heading. Um. Okay. So, however you want to communicate that to the rest, it's up to you. Pretty much. I'm going to continue, um, and um, in fact, actually, no, no I'll, yeah, I'll just, um, I'll continue on the same same path. If I think it's going that way, then that's the way I'll go. And we'll just assume it's still the trail. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, great. We definitely don't know any different. Okay. So, um, Harry, why don't you give me a... Um... I'll lead the path roll for entering the next hex, please. Sure thing. <clears throat> I'm confident. I know what I'm doing. Yay, nice. two successes. Okay. So you don't suffer any mishaps as you travel over to the next hex. Oh, now. Okay, there. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to need a uh, scouting roll from, I guess, Ed, you're doing, still doing the scouting, right? Yep. 
Ed, 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 Ed. <laughs> just a straight, <laughs> just a straight scouting roll. Uh, straight scouting roll. Yep. Okay. No modifiers. No modifiers. There we go. Okay. Um. You you hear something a bit faint, um, but. It's a sound. You think you hear the sound of of splashing. Um, okay. After you've been traveling for a little bit, coming up ahead, oh, you only hear it like like once, and then you kind of stop mm-hmm. and listen again. You think you hear it a second time, um, and then that's that's it. And it's not coming from directly ahead of you. It's coming from a little bit off to your off to your left, okay. um, as you're kind of traveling westward. Um, it's kind of at the sort of um, southwest of your position. Okay. Um, well, I'll kind of hold everyone here. Bearing in mind, you've yeah, also so completely lost the trail at this stage. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll go back to the others because I'm slightly ahead of them. Um, tell them to be quiet. Um, oh, I've heard splashing. I think that uh, maybe some of the, um, the Saurians uh, or the list folk are, uh, are taking in a wash or something. That could be. Um, I Are we close couldn't... to the marshes now? Uh, we're in the forest. <laughs> there are marshes in forest too. Uh, I don't think we're in the marshes yet. All right. I scratched my foot. No, no, we're fine. <laughs> um, I thought we'd go and have a look, see what's going on. So if we stay quiet, we can move carefully towards the sound. All right. All right, Greta. Can be quiet. <laughs> no. We'll have to leave them here. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. Now she can be quiet. So you're all going? Someone needs to stay with them. All right. All right. So all right. if you're, you're if you're sneaking. I'll stay here with Greta. In Forbidden Lands, um, you roll stealth, and the way it works if you're group stealthing is whoever is the worst at stealth rolls for the entire party to see if you're heard. Oh, God. That'd be me! <laughs> um, so, just bear that in mind um, with who's going to be going along. So, you could, some of you could stay where you are right now and, and kind of wait and see what's happening. Um, I am reasonably stealthy. Yeah, I'll stay back with, the, uh, with Nanny and Greta. Okay. Danny, be good. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll stay back with Arlok as well. Hey, just like old times. Yes. Uh, and you know how unstealthy I am. <laughs> <laughs> Guess it's just going to be me then. Uh, yeah, what have you got? Four. I mean, I can, I can tag along and ruin it for everybody. I've got four agility and one in stealth. But it's the worst, right? That's the roll. Yeah, so what have you got? Four. <laughs> Four what? Agility. Oh. Yeah, there's not a lot stealth? of stealth there's not a lot of stealth training in this group. Definitely. I think oh. Kark here I think Kark is the only one who's got any. Um It yeah. makes sense I would be the sneakiest. But given the okay. way I've been rolling, my luck is not that great. Shall we see how terrible I do? Let's have a look. Let's ruin our lives. Uh, apparently Wait. not. All right. Well done. Four B. Remember, not B four. Yes. Yay. Well done. That was <laughs> tense. Might be opposed. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, if it is, we're pumped. It might be opposed. Please, Matt, have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> what? There's no, uh, there's no bot that basically lets us see blank dice, except for Matt. Nope. I'm using, uh, I'm using um, real dice. Yeah. There is on forbidden, no, on fantasy grounds. I do have a bunch of forbidden lands dice. I should be cracking out and using, but I've completely oh, yeah. forgotten. Anyway, yeah. I'll use them for my next. Got some really nice d sixes, which is why I would re- like to use you know actual so, physical dice. Um, 
so the way opposed rolls work is it's um, kind of the successes cancel each other out. So I would roll for scouting for somebody else who um, you're trying to sneak up on. And in this instance, you rolled a single six. So all I would need to roll is a single six to cause you to not have a success. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep. Because um, you need at least one net success. I'm not telling you what I rolled, but oh, okay. that's fine. Um, you think you're moving fairly stealthily through the forest um, as you come up upon um, where you think the noise was coming from. Mm -hmm. um, and you kind of stop at some point because you can see what looks like um, like a fire, the remains of a fire that's been put out. Um, it's clearly been put out fairly recently um, uh, because okay. it's there's still kind of smoke rising from uh, from it. Um, and just beyond the fire is a pool um, that must be fed from a spring or something. But you don't see you don't see anything at the moment. You're kind of far away. You're still like you're kind of keeping mm -hmm. to the tree line and, and trying to move stealthily through the trees. Um, and that's what that's all that you can see. Nothing else. Uh, okay. Well, I'll... I guess we'll, you do that kind of like go low and just listen and look around. Okay. See if I can hear other people counter stealthing. <laughs> um, Harry, what are you doing? I'm torn between ruining this and being ble being proper. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go with proper. Um, and I will also uh, keep low and keep my ears out. So okay, get them big old chihuahua. Ears Why don't you both working. give me both give you give me a, a scouting roll, which you will be able to push if you want. Okay. More bugger. Oh Jesus! I got scouting <clears throat> two. Wait, it's two. No, wait, it's three. No success. Okay. One success for me. Um, Ed, you can hear... You, th you hear the clear sounds of something moving stealthily um, off to your right. You're looking straight ahead at this at this uh, this camp this yeah. fire that's been put out, and off to your off to your right, mm -hmm. you hear something moving. It's very very slight. It's very subtle. Um, it's not like not like a bear trudging through. Um, you know the underbrush like yeah. Arlick failed to notice the uh, the other night. <laughs> um, <laughs> but that's but you definitely hear. You're sure you hear something to your right. What do you want to do? Okay, um, I'll knock an arrow to my. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm assuming you've got your. I'm yeah. assuming your your bow's armed already. Okay, that's fine. Um, and then I will wait. Okay. Um, we have five minutes till the end of our of our <gasps> planned session. Um, so we're going to end it with with you basically hey. looking to your right, um, oh, <laughs> just as you see the the head of a saurian peek around a tree. <laughs> Not far, oh, from, not far from you. <laughs> <laughs> nice, indeed. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I like that. No. <laughs> um, and we'll end it there. Um, oh. Amazing. Yeah. I so on session one, huh? one, session one is all about travel. Session two, I guess, is going to be a combat. Um, <laughs> yeah. Let's learn how to do oh. combat in Forbidden Lands. Um, People want uh, to learn how to do travel, so that's good. <laughs> yeah. I have to tell you, I'm excited. I think these combat rules are pretty good and elegant. They're, they're good. Yeah, they're also deadly. Until they go against us. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's all right. If we get them all, that's fun. fine. Yeah. Cool. All right. So <laughs> I'm going to... Thank you very much, Matt. Yeah, yeah. And no we're problem. split up. And, the and your, up. your party is split. That's right. In fact, um, the only person who's heard that uh, heard that Sorian, Sor, uh, Sorian was Kai. Um, mm -hmm. Kark wasn't really aware. Kark's kind of like, I guess, scanning around. So there's been no... I... Yeah, we'll, we'll figure all that out at the, um, at the start of the next session. Yeah, um, make good notes. Otherwise, we'll all forget it by the next month. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> About to be killed. Right. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just. So, thank you very much for for playing, everyone. Um, yeah, any thanks, any man. questions? Thanks. Any questions for me about anything? Any tips or things that I could improve on? 
Uh, it's kind of hard. I was trying to think about whether I wanted to start this um, with uh, kind of jumping into in media res, making it a little bit more uh, potentially a little bit more um, exciting. But based on how we started, um, I think introducing the travel rules. This this game is all about survival and journeying, yeah. and these survival rules are a big part of it, especially yeah. when you're starting off in a campaign. As you get a bit um, more experienced. Things get, tend like, to a, ease a up. Stronghold a bit. and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Um, and things like horses and that sort of thing. Traveling becomes a lot easier. Um, yeah. So I did kind of want to focus on it. I know it makes it a little bit slower. Um, it's okay. Uh, I, I think I've had fun. Like this is great. I yeah. I I have a real taste for the sort of the low stakes, low level misery of slogging through horrible stuff. With your yeah, I... with your meat nope, and veg look. hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you I think it, yeah. In Skyrim, everything is much less fun as soon as you get shitloads of gold. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And I really like that low level thing where you can just genuinely chop wood for a, a, a reasonable amount of money. Right. Yeah. No, I totally agree yeah. with that. I, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm okay. not saying that's what I want to play all the time forever, <laughs> but yeah. I do have a pretty big appetite for it. Okay. I do I love I do misery. Like, we I are, do like the way for yeah. lands kind of gives you that kind of you're having to survive every day and as soon as yeah. something goes wrong yeah like if you're doing bushcraft <laughs> yeah it does start to go wrong and then it just kind of compounds on it so. it's a it's a death by a thousand cuts type of game exactly if and, you haven't you slept well spirals oh yeah yeah oh yeah, yeah definitely so we'll, if you have bad we'll luck, be encountering that maybe a it's a great game guys great game play it <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, we'll yeah. show you next month. Unfortunately, there's gonna be a whole another month until we get to the next mm -hmm. um the next session. Yeah. Um, we'll be starting with uh we'll be starting in media res, I guess, with uh with a combat I guess straight so. away. <laughs> um, uh, Miyagi Oda, that is a good suggestion. I've not been looking at the YouTube comments. Uh, what's um, well, yeah, he says I, that uh, breadcrumbs agree. on the oh, map yeah. to show where idea. you've been. Maybe a compass token <laughs> would be a good idea for a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna zoom out very quickly and see if there is. There might even be a like a, a, um, a compass rose. I never rose. saw one. I, I was kind of thinking um, as we were going. No, I meant compass. If you, yeah. Okay. If we if we go through a hex where we've led the way, we don't yeah. need to lead the way again in a hex we've been. So if we can find a way of like putting a dot. Oh, uh, really? That um, would actually be very useful but, to know. But it does say in the book. Shit, we've gone absolutely no distance. That's absolutely <laughs> up to the players and nothing to do with GM. <laughs> yeah. So you started basically this is the route you've taken. We were like Yeah, we were there. Uh, you were here we to start. Around. You went up one across. Yeah, down. So up across down like and through. Like and this is where you are. Three days. This is where you are where you are right now. Yeah. What we really need is like to to mark each of those hexes with a picture of a goblin tadger. <laughs> Um, I'll have to figure out how to do that because at the moment, um, so this, I've put links in the description. This uh, virtual tabletop is called GTOVE. It's open source, so it's completely free. Um, it had some security issues around requiring access to your entire Google Drive. That's been actually patched uh, as of this week. So he's got a huge list of to-do stuff. It's really good. Oh, I'll put man. a link in there so if people want to check it out. Um, Poor bugger. Yeah, it's limited. I mean, yeah, it's it's very limited what you can do. I can't, he does have a to-do item to, to add drawing on the maps. So at the moment, mm -hmm. I'm limited to putting minis on the map to cover where we've been. But I could, for example, um, let me do this as the um, as the GM. One second. So for example, I can scale down the uh, the size of this. So I could put um, I could put minis on which are for breadcrumbs, like really really tiny, like that, right? Mm -hmm. I do not see them. They're so small. And it's got that weird yellow <laughs> thing above it as well, which is interesting. Okay. Anyway. Ah, uh, what about recording the uh, coordinates for where we've been? Um, yeah. yeah, so that is something I'm kind of planning on doing in the um, in the Google Sheets spreadsheet. Yep. So I can add a tab to that for I can't make it. I can't make it any bigger now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'll work on that. It'll be fixed by the next time we play. <laughs> oh, and um, and a experience for the session. We should probably talk about that. Oh yes. Uh, good idea. Yeah. Um, um, in fact, I can zoom right in, and we got this like high res image of our group so yeah, i'll leave it that small <laughs> oh yeah you had a you had a little oh it's in the house rules on the um sheet it was slowed down rate of experience gain that's right yeah so yeah, the so idea we here is we're going to do it discovery. we're going to do it after the end of the session so you get a point for discovery which is um 
which is basically what you've what you've been doing the whole time. Yeah. Um, you're not going to get one for overcoming any challenges because you haven't really. Um, I defeated avoided it there. all of our challenges. Well, Eric did defeat it there. <laughs> yeah, I guess you know what that was. That was a conflict, and you did yeah, you work, did Eric. rescue Go the on, party Eric. from having I to did fight feel a bear. Mortal danger. Yeah, so you can yeah. definitely. <laughs> oh, you were you were trust me. Um, <laughs> so you can have an extra XP for that. Um, nobody oh. used any of their pride, their dark secrets, um, their relationships for anything. There weren't really opportunities to do that necessarily. Um, so, yeah. So everyone gets and, one and XP. We're not doing one for participating. I feel no, like no, no. We talked about this. Connor so and Lyria yeah, three are day. definitely in some kind of a relationship now because, <laughs> <laughs> because you know, trying to fix somebody's broken breeks is. I mean, that's it's very that, intimate. Yeah, it is. It's it's really something. <laughs> just, just think of the kids. Just and I, think of the kids. And I, and I gave her my garlic. You I did. didn't have to give her that garlic. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to this character so, angle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you know, for elves and goblins, they, they say that goblins fear elves, and I guess we'll find out. I've also just realized that I was meant to be recording in Zoom, which is what we're using to record. And I was meant to be recording in OBS, which is um, how this overlay comes up. And I haven't recorded in either one. Oh. Um, so what YouTube will mean? save YouTube will save this video, and I will have yeah. to download the video from YouTube. So it just means probably oh, the sound talk. quality might not be as high as if I'd been recording locally. But uh, well, lessons okay. learned. Hey, session we one. We can fix it in post. We'll fix it Sorry, somehow. Podcast. So the, the podcast <laughs> element of this, if you wanted to listen to this or recommend it to people afterwards for session one, might not be as high quality as it could be otherwise. Sorry. Hmm. But everyone watching, thanks for watching. <laughs> yes, yeah, um, thank you very yeah, much. Thanks for coming, everyone. Yeah, yeah. If you keep it's an eye, if you pleasure. if you subscribe to the channel, um, I'll be putting a holding place for our next session up when we've um, just double checked that everyone can make it on the same date. It's going to be roughly four weeks from now, uh, maybe five weeks from now, on a, a, a similar time, a similar day of the week. So it'll be a Sunday night mm -hmm. um, for for me here in the UK, uh, for in the UK, Germany. Um, <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Keep an eye out on that. We'll Germany. be we'll be plastering all of the social media with that as well with um, <laughs> updates on when yeah. that's going to be. So, thanks for watching yeah. and um, yes. thank you. Yeah, any feedback you can you can give us um, would be really helpful. Again, links to all our social media channels are in the in the description. So, thanks okay. very much for watching and catch you next time. Cool. Thank thanks you. for playing, everyone. Ciao. Thank you, Matt. It's been a thank real you joy. very much. Always good, Matt. Cheers. Yeah. My pleasure. Yeah, thanks. Now that awkward moment when I figure out how to stop streaming. <laughs> <laughs> End stream. Boom. <laughs>